Hola amigos de Cine, yo soy Luífer y el día de hoy quiero compartir con ustedes la gran entrevista que tuvimos con dos de los protagonistas de la serie original de Stars Place, The Spanish Princess. Hablamos con los actores Aaron Copham y Stephanie Levy John acerca de la producción y acerca de sus personajes. La entrevista está en inglés, pero si quieren verla en español, les recomiendo ver este video donde podrán ver un tutorial de cómo colocar los subtítulos en español en YouTube. Ahora, antes de que pasemos a las entrevistas, me gustaría contarles un poco acerca de la producción. The Spanish Princess es la segunda entrega y secuela de la miniserie original The Stars de White Queen, nominada al premio Golden Globe y Emmy. El regreso de la serie The Spanish Princess retoma la historia de la reina Catalina y Enrique VIII. Presidiendo la corte más glamurosa de Europa y amados por su gente, juntos crean una Inglaterra orgullosa, segura y lo suficientemente fuerte como para resistir las amenazas del exterior. La lucha de Catalina para tener un heredero pone en riesgo su matrimonio y su posición en la corte, y sus elecciones del pasado la atormentarán. A pesar de ser una política diplomática, una inspiración nacional e incluso una comandante militar, Catalina debe luchar para salvar su amor con el rey y preservar la paz y la prosperidad de su reinado. Okay, perfect. Hi Stephanie and Aaron. My name is Luis Fernando Vergara from Colombia from Revista Acine. How are you? Good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, uh, I created some question, but for both of you, so feel free to, to answer whatever you want. So my first question would be, how do you feel about being part of this amazing production? <laughs> um, it's a dream come true. I feel there are no words to be able to describe how I feel about being in The Spanish Princess. Um, I remember when I when I got the script for the first time to audition for the show, I remember just reading the first couple of pages and just being like, I I I I need I need this in my life. Like she the way that Matthew and Emma have written Lena and Oviedo and their relationship together is is truly is truly incredible. And I just feel very, very grateful to be a part of a show like this and of, of this caliber that um goes out to the masses and you know inspires people to learn more about history and indulge in the the crazy lives of the Tudors <laughs> yeah I feel the same I feel like it's it's the real honor to be able to play a character like Oviedo to be in such a an inspiring tv show that talks about things from so many different angles that don't always get spoken about on on television screens um, and like it, it really felt like we were part of a family when we were filming and I think that's, that's a beautiful thing because we, it was just nice every day going to work was, was a wonderful thing so yeah just it's, honor, it's, a, it's an honor it's really an honor no, thank you uh, my second question would be um, for uh, the same for both of you uh, how was the process to create your characters Uh, knowing that uh, you don't have like too much information about them? Mm. For me, I did as much research as I could do about who he was in terms of, so Oviedo, there wasn't much written historically about him, but I tried to learn about the, the Spanish military in that particular time period, why he would have trained, um, who he would have been around, how he would have been able to speak English, just try to learn things about that time period that would allow me to, to build more of a character around him and then take some of my own experiences and experiences from other people and try and implement them where I could do to, to build a, a very well-formed character. Yeah, I mean, there isn't that much, literally, I think a line for Lean, I think it's just a line in a history book and for Oviedo, it's just, you know, his, it states his name. So there's historically, there's not much personally for for our characters that we can you know use to inform the way that we play them however you know again going back to our showrunners they have created incredible scripts that have a lot of the history within it so research research is fundamental for not just this but any job that you go into because you know knowledge is power so 
taking the things that they'd written in the scripts, for example, Lena says that her her parents are Moriscos. So that means that, you know, that they her, the Moors were being persecuted for being Muslim, for following Islam. So in order to save themselves, they had to convert to Catholicism. So, you know, I'd have to, I, the reason why I know that is because I then had to go in to his, the history books and figure out, okay, what does that mean? How does that relate to my character? And then how does that relate to her on an emotional level? Because it can't be easy to know that, you know, you have this belief and you have this culture and you have, you know, your family is grown up around something and then having to leave it all behind because you could be killed, you know? So that, and then using your imagination, piecing it all together, then helps to create fully formed, multifaceted characters. So yeah, that's what you do <laughs> when you don't have, you know, the historical things written about them. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, thank you. Uh, my next question would be, what do you think made this show different from other vintage uh, productions? Um, the, the showrunners, how they created the characters, what they want to show from their characters, um, the, the, the writers and how they've written the stories and the way they put the words together and the, what they allow us to express as people. I think Lena and Oviedo were also very different because you don't see many period dramas with people who look like myself and Stephanie. So I think all those different aspects really bring a lot to The Spanish Princess. And I think it's, it's really relatable. I think the things that people go through in that time period, even though we're talking about the Royal Court and the Tudors and a lot of history that people think they know a lot about, there's so much more that gets brought through television and through our characters so I think it's, it's really relatable as a TV show mm -hmm. and yeah you know it kind of takes history and flips it on its head because when we think about history a lot of history has been told you know through men so mm -hmm. and especially with Henry VIII you know everybody knows about his wives but people don't actually know that much about Catherine people seem to think that you know she was the one that just couldn't give him a son and that's it it goes deeper than that they were married that was his longest marriage he was married to her for over 20 years Um, and obviously the, the starting of their marriage was very complicated and, you know, she was a woman who really stood up for what she believed in and she really, she really knew her own mind. So you would never know that if it wasn't for the, the, the Spanish princess, you know, and, and also things like her marriage with him, her side of the story. Okay, cool. You know, he may have through history, it seems like, you know, he just got tired of her and then, you know, went to somebody else, but Let's think about it on a on on an emotional level, on a human level, and from the female side of this, because there's two sides of a story uh, to every story, and so this time we're telling it from the side that is lesser known than the side that is that doesn't really hasn't been given the voice, basically. Amazing, thank you. And my last question would be, what do you think your characters represent nowadays for the black culture? Mm -hmm. On the whole, I think it's wonderful to see black aristocracy because Lena is a lady in waiting. That wasn't just a, you know, fly by job. That's a, that's a job with status, you know, she's next to the princess, next to the queen. So to be able to see black characters that aren't subservient, that aren't less than, that have their place within court, I think is extremely important. And I think it's going to inspire black people and people of color to research more about our, our place within history. Um, yeah, I think those are some of the most important things, 100%. Yeah, I agree. I think a lot of people forget that um, on the continent of Africa, all the different kingdoms were kingdoms. There were people who were um, of high status, who were of dark skin tone. And having a, a woman like Lena's character in a position of power within a royal court just represents that people weren't always subservient. I think Oviedo in general is kind of like a, um, he's a very positive character. There is no real negativity to him as far as I'm concerned and how he comes across. And I think that's a, that's a wonderful thing. I remember growing up watching TV shows, seeing people who looked like me and they always had like a fatal flaw or there was something wrong that they did that they didn't probably need to do. And television is a massive medium. It's very influential to a lot of people across the world. And to see people like Lena and Oviedo who are in positions of power, work hard, um, positive characters and don't do anything negative and just try and strive to be the best people they can be 
it's inspiring for young people and for people who don't know much about people who look like me and Stephanie it shows them that there's more than one side that they may see through other TV shows or other mediums which aren't always positive portrayals of black people fantastic well thank you so much for, for your time for sharing your your knowledge about the show with, with our audience and well I appreciate I really appreciate your time so thank you thank Anytime you to meet you, to meet you. Bye, have a good day. Bye, you too. Bueno, espero que este video y esta entrevista haya sido de su agrado. Si les gustó, espero sus comentarios aquí abajo. También los invito a seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales donde nos encuentran como arroba revista a cine. Y obviamente los invito a suscribirse en nuestro canal para seguir conectados con nuestro contenido. Muchas gracias y nos vemos en un próximo video. Chao, chao.